Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors, and today we're gonna test this monster truck. Now, I think the wheels resemble that of a, just with that red on there. A little Looks bit. Looks cool. Mm -hmm. But the truck itself is fairly generic looking, oh, yeah. but it does look cool. It's a four wheel drive, brushed system. It's called the Zen Li Hong Toys 9125. One tenth scale, although to me it looks a tiny bit smaller than one tenth scale. Under the hood, we have six shocks. Yeah, yeah, well, yes, two in the back. Uh, they're very soft though. Uh, they don't feel oil filled or anything. I think it's just those springs and two, two in the front. Uh, but look, there's, you can't see anything. They've got this shell over it. I thought about taking these screws out to take a look, but there's quite a few. And I just thought, I don't want to mess anything up for this video. But I was very motivated to do so because if we swing over here and look at the box, it says right here, double motor electronic power driven self priming air cooling system. Look at that. Look at that image right there two motors, very clearly two motors. I mean, they're, I don't think they're suggesting there's one and a half, one and three quarters. It's two motors. Now on this shot, it shows one with an air cooling system going around. So I kind of like that. That's kind of neat. Right here it says double motor too. It does. Double motor. I've never, I personally, in five or so years of doing YouTube, a video every single day. Almost. Almost. Have never seen two motors in a ground vehicle. Okay, so having said that, let's take a look in here. If I'm looking down And you're inside, wrong with that statement. We've had had a vehicle with two motors in it. We just had one the other day with a motor oh, in the okay. front and back. Oh, okay, that's that's a little different. <laughs> that, but not side by side on one drive. Okay. Yeah, okay. You're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> and you're right, technically speaking, you're right. <laughs> I can see a motor in here, but I cannot I think I see it. Really? There are two motors. I only came with this little toy grade screwdriver. It ain't gonna work. No. So, but we did find this in the instructions. Trust me, I can see the two in there. It's very hard for you guys to see without a ton of light. But if you look at the little blowout chart, or blow up chart, some people even say that, there are two motors in there, side by side. Very interesting. Just back here, in the back. Uh, right yeah, there. right in here. One's on this side, one's on this side. That's crazy. Very cool. I'm sorry I didn't get that casing off there to show you guys, but it also has this air cooling system, which I think is why they have that casing on there. And let me show you how this all goes together. Once you have your Dean's connection battery, it's a 1600 milliamp little LiPo two cell battery. Once that's connected, it tucks in here pretty well. It's a little tight on space. So you can't really get a bigger battery. No, no, no. This is like... This is definitely it. This is what's interesting. That's a snug fit, by the way. Very, very snug. Then this guy clips on here. If if I can even get that to clip, because I'm telling you, that battery, it's like when these guys design the battery casing, it did fit. And they say, okay, this is the size of the battery that needs to go in there. They forget to include the wire and how the tension of the wire is, uh, like that's a very snug fit, but it, it did fit. So look at that. There's no body clips, it just snaps on? That's it, just snaps right oh. on. It's kind of an interesting concept here. We don't see this all the time. Normally we see a flat tray and everything's just kind of bolted on. This has these little ducted areas where air will come in, cool the motor, and it will come back out. We also have an air-cooled ESC receiver combo up here with a little heat sink on it. I like the thought. That's very cool. I mean, some vehicles do that, but in this price point, around $80 or so, we don't see that all the time. That feels pretty good, pretty bouncy. Uh, it's four-wheel drive. We have an included transmitter. We have steering trim, steering direction, and actually steering reverse and high-low speed on here, right on the transmitter. So that's pretty cool. Guys, this is new to me. I don't know if one motor is running on low and then it kicks in to high and that's the second motor going. I've never had two motors side by side like that on a vehicle before. So I think the best thing for us to do is just to run this very quickly. Instructions, here's our little LiPo balancing charger, two cells only. The we screwdriver is not even a European included. connector, but you can get cheap converters. Yes. Let's drive. Let's drive. All right, when I powered this on, Abby noticed something and it kind of caught her off guard. She knows what it is, but because there's a lot of beginners on our channel, I thought I'd share this with everybody. So I 
turned it to see if it had power. And look how much there's very little throw distance in that tire movement. So that's, uh, to me, that was an obvious, you know, we can fix that very easily by turning this knob. It says ST dot DR. That's steering dual rate, okay? What that means is we can turn up the sensitivity. I'm just gonna crank it all the way so you guys can see. Remember how it was very little movement? Now watch. Tons of movement, okay? I'll probably crank that down some while driving, but depending on where you're driving and how you're driving, you can adjust that sensitivity. The same goes with the trim, if it's veering off in one side or the other. We have high and low rates, and we can reverse our steering as well. Some people like to drive the maybe opposite way. For some reason, you can reverse that. So you're starting in low? Gonna start in low, yes. Okay. So we have proportional steering, and we have proportional throttle. Or wheel drive. Listen, that sounds really good, listen. And it doesn't like click when you give it throttle. Sometimes cars will click and then click when they're done. Sounds good. I'm trying to listen to those motors. Kick it in the high. Okay, hold on. Let me go full throttle and low. That's full throttle. Okay, now I want to go high. Now listen. Oh, I can feel torque difference for sure. There's an obvious difference. Two motors. Okay, let's do this. I'm excited. All right, while we have a fresh battery, fully charged, let's do a bit of a speed test. I know it's not perfectly level or anything, but that's okay. And we don't have a meter on No, there. no, no. <laughs> Just want to get a general idea. Okay, here we go. Full throttle in low. This is full throttle. You guys notice how quiet that is? It is quiet. Okay, my trim needs to go to the right, or left of here. I was going to the right. Okay, that was in low. I don't know if it's bad for it to switch gears while moving, so I'm it's just probably going best to, to stop. stop. Now let's switch to high, switch of a transmitter. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh very wow. noticeable. Wow. That's so cool. Okay, I don't know if you guys could tell while just watching on the camera there, but I can very, you very can much hear it too. Oh yeah, I know I was coasting by there. Uh, you yeah, can just hear the noticeable power. Difference. Okay, I'll do one more fast drive by in the high rates. Yeah, okay, I want you to see that so you can tell the difference. That's a very intuitive switching system. I'll start in low for you, okay. and it's all you. Then we'll have to have a little fun with the hill over there. But Abby, let's see what you got. Low. It's one of the quietest trucks I've ever driven. Yeah. The gears and stuff, they just... So you want me to switch it to high? You go right ahead, whenever you want. Oh yeah, that's great. Okay, let's go this way. So there's an obvious speed difference, but I wonder if doing something like climbing the hill, will there be a noticeable difference? Do we have a higher torque in the low gear? Go ahead and give it a shot there, Abby. Versus uh, the torque in the high gear. You know, are we gonna be able to climb more easily in that low gear? Or hey, should we just be in high gear the whole time? So you're in high right now, right? Wow, it did really good. It did, it did just fine. It just rolled over. Oh, you know what we just lost? Hold on. I thought this would happen. This is unfortunate. Oh, man. So the body clip popped off. Not body clip, but whatever you want to call that. Battery. The battery clip. Uh, and, and it was just from it flipping over and pop. Centrifugal force throwing that off of there. That means the battery is just bouncing around loose in there. All right, all we did was pull the body clips off and the battery is popped out sitting like this. I just wanted to show you guys we were, we're hoping that this is just not a fluke, and uh, if it's a no, design... we're hoping it's a fluke, I think. Well, yeah, yes, yes. We're hoping it's a fluke and not a design flaw, but that guy, that might be on backwards. It only goes on one way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it right there. Okay, that, that clearly clicked on, on as hard as it was. Yeah, it's right there. It's flush with the rest of the body. It is on, so Let's we're going to pop it. this back on and try again. All right, guys, it is back up and running. Uh, we're hoping that was just a fluke but I, I do think it's a design flaw. All right, uh, we weren't running it very long at all before that happened, so let's hope it doesn't happen again. Abby? Low gear might be where it's at. Low gear to climb? Yeah. It's, uh, it's doing okay. Oh no! Oh no. 
We need to constantly be on the lookout for that little plastic clip. All right, we are, there's a bunch of cars. We're back in low gear, giving it another shot. Ooh, you know, it just seems, maybe it seems like weaker in low gear. Low gear, she hit a root, so let's try one more time. Come on, little truck, I'm rooting for you. I like your dual motor system. I don't know why, but I like it. Okay, 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 okay. All right, it did it, it did it. I want to try it in high gear. Okay. Yeah, that was a struggle, but it did do it. It did it. I mean, that's got to earn a small trophy that it did the hill. Are you back in high? Yeah, I'm in high, but not full throttle. Okay. High gear, not full throttle, much easier climb. Ooh, I think high gear is where it's at. That was way better in high gear with half throttle. All right. So high gear, half throttle. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It depends on where you hit the hill, too. Hey, look at that. That is amazing. Okay. It's redeeming itself. I'll be honest, when the battery clip popped off, I was ready to write this thing off. Maybe we didn't have it popped on very well. Who knows? I got to try this again. It did the big hill, but I think the smaller hill is actually more fun. So let's go down there. That's my choice for driving spot. One thing I'll notice, this has not been upside down very much. And hey, that's just fun to drive. Okay, <laughs> low gear through the grass. That's cool. full throttle, okay. I think what they've done here on those gears is actually just basically set a throttle limit because it doesn't feel like it's a different gear. It just feels like at full throttle, I'm really only at about 50%. I throttle. think you're right about that. That's what it feels like too. Okay. It's, uh, yeah, because that full throttle, ooh. Oh, I'm so good it. at flipping it. You these. jinxed yeah. it. <laughs> With hitting the asphalt like that, I thought I'd check. That's an aluminum piece there. Hmm. Uh, very, maybe even steel, but it's not, it's not plastic. And the same on the rear there. So that's kind of a good thing uh, for protecting it, hitting spots the way, the way I just did. Baby hill. Yeah. It does a great job. This is just a fun little basher. I like that you have the dual rates, but honestly, I don't know when a person would want to do the low, the low rates on this truck. I like the high rates, they're just fun. It is a fun little basher. Uh, what did the price point? What was it like? Eighty dollars? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty fair. I think that's a fair price for a truck-ish monster truck. Yeah. Kind of combo. Oh, I am bad okay. at this. You're fired. Yeah. All right, Abby's back at the controls. Of course I am. Should be kicking up some dust now. Oh yeah. Look at that. Wish we had our slow motion camera right now. Look at you go, Abby. Good little. It's just quiet, isn't it? I think that's the thing that is like strange about this, how quiet it is. All ground vehicles that we've ever had are just so loud. Look at you, you just cannot flip a truck. They just don't go upside down for you. Okay, apparently there is a graduation party back there. So it's been very hard to film this last bit here. A lot of cars going by interrupting the video. And here's the wind finally too. Yeah, feels good, it's hot out. This is unique. It's pretty cool. I was in question at first when that battery clip popped off. Seems like it's staying in it's that. Staying we got on. it clipped in pretty well. Yes. Probably our fault, user error. We do our best to have real world examples on our channel. You know, if that's gonna pop off for us, then it's probably gonna pop off for you once or twice. We don't sugarcoat things, we don't hide things. Uh, it's not a perfect world. We don't know everything there is to know about this stuff and we never ever will. And here's a news flash for you. Nobody out there does. So just keep that in mind when you're watching videos on YouTube and stuff. Even the people that make them don't know it all because they make design flaws. That's right. These guys that made this wonderfully engineered truck, I wish they would have just uh, made a little bit more battery space uh, for larger batteries or what have you. So, you know, uh, nobody's perfect. If you like the video, nobody's nerfed. Nobody's nerfed. Another reference there. If you're not perfect, please leave us a thumbs up to let us know that we're not the only ones in the world. If you are perfect, subscribe to the channel because you should have already done that since you're so perfect. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Guys, I mean, only perfect people would subscribe to our channel. Uh, then nobody, nobody would be subscribed oh, actually. Well, okay. All right. If you're that perfect, you would know better. Okay, we're probably gonna have to edit this whole thing out because that was just horrible.
Uh, we'll have this linked in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. If you appreciate what we do and you want to support us, we've got a link to Patreon down in the description box as well. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!